Hey everyone, what's going on? Ehab Halat back again with another video. Today's project, I'm going to be spraying a 2006 Honda Civic. Now this car is a beige tan color right now. It's a little ugly, I don't like it. It's got a bunch of surface scratches and whatnot. So why not spice it up a bit? I know it's just a Honda Civic, it's nothing special. It's a popular car a lot of people have. And um, the color I'm going to be spraying is Wicked Wine by Dip Your Car. It's a performance series color. Really nice color, I've seen it on quite a bit of cars now. And uh, it looks really awesome, so I can't wait to spray this color. Uh, it's my girlfriend's car. We already have the black accents on there, so we got the matte black wheels. We got the black side mirrors, black grille, black lip spoiler, the emblems. So the car right now, the color is, is just like a beige tan color, nothing too exciting. So why not spray the Wicked Wine over top of this? It's gonna look awesome, I think. It'll make it pop a lot more. And um, we also wrapped the, the roof. We did matte black. So I'm not gonna be spraying the roof. So I'll be spraying the rest of the car except the roof. So I hope you guys like this. We're gonna jump right into it. I got the black base down right now. Like, comment down below what you guys think. Subscribe if you haven't. Let's get right to it. All right guys, so we got the matte black base down. This car is very, very easy to spray. If you're a beginner, this car is perfect to start spraying. It's very small, uh, not much body to it. Uh, it's, it's very simple to spray. So I got the six coats down of matte black on here. And then I uh, noticed with the Wicked Wine, once you start spraying this color, beautiful coverage. First coat, you get amazing coverage. Um, I did about... I'd say four or five coats of Wicked Wine, if I could recall, but I did that. I got coverage within the first two coats, honestly, but uh, you know, the more coats, the more durable. You guys should know that. Um, this color is absolutely awesome. The, the name for this color is exactly it. It is a Wicked Wine. Nice, deep, burgundy color. Very beautiful. Also remember guys to make sure to remove any body parts on this vehicle that's going to get in your way when you're dipping so it'll make it 10 times easier to spray like the side mirrors on this. You guys know on Hondas pretty much anything and everything is really easy to remove on this vehicle. So I removed the grill, the plastic pieces on the bottom I wanted them to stay black so I taped those up. Sometimes you know taping stuff up might, might take a lot of time but I mean, it's all in the prep work, guys. If you prep it right, you're gonna have an easy time spraying and you know removing all the tape off after, it's gonna be easier. So I removed the side mirrors, the grill, uh, there's a little lip spoiler in the back. Anything you could remove, guys, make sure to remove it before you spray the vehicle. Make sure when spraying, guys, you guys keep a nice steady hand. You guys do 50-50 overlaps with your coats. Especially when you're getting near the end, you want to do nice, solid, heavy coats. Make sure it all dries in one solid sheet. Um, when I do my last coat as well, what I do is I'll do a nice 75% overlap instead of a 50-50 overlap. That'll make sure that it all dries nice, smooth, clean, and the finish will be perfect. Plasti Dip does dry really quick once you're done your last coat. But what I like to do is I wait 24 hours before I do any unmasking. Obviously, uh, you gotta peel when wet, whatever you need to do, usually the side window trim, you need to peel that while wet um, or else it's gonna attach to the body. But anything else, any big masking, unmasking that I'm doing, I wait 24 hours before I start peeling and unmasking everything else. That way I know the car for sure is fully dry after it's all said and done guys here is the final result look at this color just looking beautiful so nice clean and sleek the black accents the wicked wine body and yes i do know that rear window needs to be tinted because that's throwing this whole look off yes yes i know i'm gonna get that tinted asap also need to throw some tint on the front windows but no nevertheless guys 
This vehicle looks bomb. I mean, black accents, wicked wine red. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you guys think. Peace.